Ifumi Togo is waifu material, known as the too beautiful shogi player and classmate of Yusuke. Part of the star arcana, she's one of the most important side confidants you can get in Persona 5 Royal. This is mainly due to her useful advanced combat techniques. She's often compared to Makoto, and is often considered by her fanbase to be highly underrated. With that, let's explore my 10 reasons why Hifumi Togo is waifu material. Just a fun fact, Hifumi spelled out literally means 1-2-3 in Japanese. Starting out, she's an aspiring shogi player obsessed with one day becoming a pro. Shogi is life with this waifu. You can often hear her relating real life to shogi philosophies. If you're not familiar with shogi, it's essentially Japanese chess, requiring a lot of brain power and strategy. Your confident rank wouldn't even let us progress until you hit the maximum knowledge level. Similar to a sports athlete, she has her own set of superstitions, just like how she always eats katsu curry before every match. Hifumi is so intense when it comes to shogi. It's kind of cute how she really gets into it, spouting out cool names of her signature moves. Given the intensity, she doesn't really hold back, even against a beginner. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check! Well, to be fair, she didn't know about that until afterwards. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. After our initial thrashing, despite being a novice, she did mention that there was something special about us and strikes a deal with us. I feel a gambler's spirit emanating from you. As part of our deal with Hifumi, she offers to teach us the ways of the shogi. We help her develop moves, and she helps us not look like a complete novice. Hifumi's father was actually a professional shogi player, but after pouring his life into it, it left him too ill to work, leaving Hifumi's mom to support the family. Ifumi has a strong desire to help ease the financial burden of her parents by becoming the best at shogi. For now, Ifumi does her best by doing photo shoots and interviews to contribute to the household income. Generally, she doesn't like to do these activities as she worries that people will stop recognizing her as a shogi player and more of an idol. Fame does come with a price though, when nasty articles exposing her family's private life arise. Not wanting to burden the family, she has even considered giving up shogi to get a normal job instead. You can surely bet that Hifumi has strong integrity. At one point in the story, her mother asks her to intentionally lose the upcoming exhibition match with a pro player, a marketing ploy to get Hifumi some sympathy from female fans and cause her to have a comeback story later on. This plan would certainly help ease the financial burden by making Hifumi famous, but she knew deep down that throwing the game was just wrong. As her mother was unlikely to change her mind, the Phantom Thieves went into mementos and changed her heart. The next day, Hifumi's mother then revealed that all of Hifumi's recent matches have been fixed in her favor and the nasty magazine article was actually sent in by her. Hifumi decided to reveal all these details to the public, which was met with scorn from the media. Hifumi is a humble individual. When Joker is with her, he always gets mistaken as her boyfriend, bringing up all sorts of bad attention from her peers and her mother. Hifumi is always apologizing for any negative attention he observes. She even apologizes for her mother's rudeness by blaming it on her lack of skills as a shogi player. Despite the match fixing, Hifumi continued with the exhibition match against the pro player, all while shouldering the embarrassment that came from the announcement. In the end, she lost pretty badly. She compared it to an ant challenging an elephant. Hifumi emphasizes the importance of conceding with grace, and also she didn't want to hurt the little pieces anymore. A very queenly decision, queen. In the end, Hifumi decided to quit the association and will start over as an amateur. While tough, it seems that she's actually relieved to start on a clean slate, knowing her win-loss record isn't built on lies. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. As I've mentioned, Hifumi's confidant rank has one of the best benefits in the game. How many times have you been ambushed or prepared for a boss battle only to find out he's immune to one of your elements? It's definitely happened to me on multiple occasions. I despise you, Akumura. Hifumi's confidant benefit mainly grants the ability to escape from nasty ambushes and switch party members in the heat of battle. At first, you can only make the switch on Joker's turn, but eventually anybody can make their switch during their turn. Using a turn is a small price to pay compared to being completely useless in battle. I think these tactics are almost essential for smooth progress and are a big part of what makes Hifumi so underrated. In terms of appearance, Hifumi has a simple but unique style. As I've mentioned, her good looks has earned her some attention as the too beautiful shogi player. Similar to Makoto, she has an even more traditional Japanese beauty look. She has long straight hair with a simple fringe cut in the front. Complementing this hairstyle, she can often be seen wearing a red rope-like accessory on her head. For school days, she dresses up in a completely different uniform as she goes to Kosei High School, the same one Yusuke attends. The uniform consists of a simple white shirt, black skirt, and blue blazer, complete with a gold star emblem. On her legs, she wears black leather shoes and knee-high white socks. 
To top off this look, she wears a snazzy black and white striped ribbon bow tie. Her casual outfit consists of a unique orange and blue checkered dress layered with long white sleeves. A very unusual design. Personally, I think she's the only person who can pull off such a dress. That's precious. When she's not playing shogi, it seems that Hifumi really loves to swim. The feeling of moving around the cool water is just a, such a unique feeling. Consistent in both the game and anime, she wears a blue and white striped swimsuit. We only learn about her love for swimming during the special Valentine's episode in the anime, where we meet her at an indoor pool at night. We also learn that perhaps Joker can't swim? We do see him swimming in future games, but I'm just gonna assume that Hifumi taught him how. Normally in the game, the only times we saw her anywhere near water was during the Hawaii trip. For a shogi player, she really likes to keep fit. Looking cool, Hifumi. Often compared to Makoto, Hifumi is a true OG. Well, sort of. Rumor has it that Hifumi was supposed to be the OG queen of the Phantom Thieves, a role currently assigned to Makoto. One of the creator commentary notes says that Hifumi was originally designed to complement Makoto as a more radical strategist. However, both attributes were given to Makoto, which would make Hifumi redundant for the Phantom Thieves. Occasionally, the two alphas meet in the jungle, and things get vicious. Just kidding. This hasn't stopped the fanbase from imagining what Hifumi would be like as a Phantom Thief. Oh, what could have been. Despite being an idol-like celebrity in the shogi world, it's with no doubt that Hifumi is a straight-up introvert. At the time, she truly despised the rumors surrounding her family just because of her fame. She was just doing it for the family and her mom's approval. Our first meeting with her was at the church while she was practicing shogi all by herself. She says she likes it here because it's quiet and nobody comes to bother her. She did reveal the sad truth later that it's also because no one wants to play with her. The anime also showed her shying away from the church when she spied Joker and Yusuke uh, doing their thing. I don't blame her for staying away from those two. Ifumi has a shy and conservative personality. This is also reflected in her quiet and calm voice, portrayed by Eden Regal, who by the way also voiced Marine, Persona 4 Golden. Hifumi is the last person you'd expect to make a loud outburst, unlike somebody. For real? Her shyness was prevalent in the anime. <laughs> hey, let's go! When three foreign men were trying to hit on her, and she could barely utter a single word to reject them. Fortunately, Joker came to her rescue and extracted her from the situation. Well then, if it means more time with you, all the better. Like Makoto, Ifumi can be a bit of a fool when it comes to love. A cute fool. Are you sure about this? Right after the confessions, you can just imagine her attempts to use sophisticated quotes and later in a call stuttering over her words. Her shyness with love probably stems from when she was banned by her mother from dating, as it took away from her shogi practice and ruins her marketability. This would mean that we're her first and hopefully only. I no longer have a ban on dating. So for the time being, please let me have you all to myself. So what do you think? Would you play a long game with just the two of you? Are you ready to be Hifumi's king? Be sure to leave a like and comment if you agree that Hifumi Togo is waifu material. Please also check out my other Persona 5 waifu videos as well.